Hello and welcome to Scale Model Maker. This is Rob. This time we're going to build a scale version of the Nativity Manger. You're going to need some plywood, 3 8 inch balsa, and three sheets of 3 32nd inch balsa, a hobby knife, a zona saw, some glue, some super sculpy clay, folk art, black and brown craft paint, string of lights, a balsa stripper, and a paintbrush, and of course a ruler and a pencil. Here I'm using a balsa stripper to cut the 3 8 inch square pieces. Now you could buy 3 8 inch square stock, but honestly it's much cheaper to strip it out of a piece of sheet than it is to buy it individually. I also cut the 3 32nd inch balsa sheets into strips using the balsa stripper. Here you see I'm using the knurled part of the X-Acto knife blade to rough shape the boards. By putting a sort of curved rough edge on them, it makes them look similar to worn boards. This step takes a little time, but is well worth it in the end. So now I'm going to use a little CA glue to attach a full length piece of board to the base. And I'm going to start setting up my pattern two full-length pieces of 8-inch board ought to do the trick. Next, I'm going to stagger the next board, just like I would in real life if I was building a floor. And again, for the third piece, stagger it some more. And this is going to give me a pattern to build off of. And here's the completed wooden floor. Looks pretty convincing, but we're gonna use a sharp skewer to add some texture and some nail holes to the floor. Next, we add a piece of balsa wood wrapped around all sides of the plywood board to hide the plywood. And here's our floor finished. Next, I drew out the rough shape of the manger on a piece of tracing paper. I'm going to use this plan to build my structure. I carefully mark, cut, and fit each piece before gluing. And here I've created a second side as an exact duplicate. And now we're going to raise the walls, so to speak, adding some glue on the ends of each timber and then using a square to set it on the base. And we're going to glue the second wall. And this is really starting to look like something now. We continue with the build by adding the cross pieces to the structure. These are made from 3 8 inch square balsa timbers. Here I'm shaping the top of the roof to a peak using a wood plane. We're going to add some external details to the structure. This is where the manger really starts to take shape. I'm adding some pre-stained balsa wood boards. And I just keep adding boards.
The painting process starts by first making the wash. I use a lot of water and equal amounts of black craft paint and brown craft paint. I mix it together in the container and the wash is now ready to apply to the structure. This is really kind of the fun and messy part of this build. So make sure you use some sort of barrier device between your work table and the project. Slop that wash all over and make sure you get full coverage on each exposed timber. Next, we're going to pre-fit the roofing boards and then stain them with the wash. And finally, after they're dry, apply them to the manger. Be really random in your application and look for those jagged edges. They add interest. Here's our basic structure completed and ready for the next step. And the next step is to add lighting. After checking the LED lights, I cut a hole in the back of the manger and thread the lights through. Hold everything in place with hot glue. These are small round balls that have been cut in half. The balls made from super sculpy air baked clay. Next, I'm taking some detailing brass, if you will, or hay, and adding it to the structure. The battery box is held to the back of the manger with Velcro. And here's our finished manger ready for the application of your favorite pieces. The manger is approximately 1 14th scale. The figures shown here are about 5 inches tall and they seem to fit just fine. Use your imagination and you can have a great time making this nativity scene come to life. Thanks for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, please click that like button. And for more videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Again, I'm Rob and thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your support.